Welcome, Waffle Warfets. We are back with a brilliant Lost in Random on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, what we are currently doing in the world of Random is we are still collecting the four items that we need to refresh Niska's memory so she can tell us who is responsible for the death of the king. So far, we have collected a pinky from the Count. We have collected a family portrait from the Duke. We still need to get the murder weapon, which hopefully we will be getting in this video. And there is an item that we need to get from the Baroness that we are going to be doing right now. And once all of that's done, we can then speak to Nishka. And hopefully she can finally tell us who is responsible for killing the king, end the civil war. Then we can tell the shadow man that the civil war is over and he will hopefully give me Bernie back. But we can't really trust the shadow man because he does look... Excuse the pun, very, very shady. <laughs> but let's have a chat with the Baroness and then let's proceed to get ourselves the third item and then we will go and get the murder weapon. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I also need to speak to this guy as well. So let me quickly have a chat with this guy. Yeah, I think he wants me to uh, give a message to his darling wife and I think his wife might be very close to where the count is. So we might as well get this done as well. Plus it's extra money which you can use for many decks to get yourself some more cards. So it's always worth doing it. And I don't, I don't think there's even any trophies for doing all the side missions. So you don't actually have to do it if you don't want to. But you want to do it because money and you need to buy all the cards for another trophy. So it's worth doing it for that reason. And they're fun. I miss my darling wife so much. Did she die in the war? Describe her to me. Maybe I'll see her somewhere. Oh, the most beautiful woman you can imagine. With a smile that melts my heart away every time I think of it. Of her. If I could just see her again. I'd tell her. I'd tell her I love her. And that the second this war is over, I'm coming back to her. Nobody will ever separate us again. If only. All right, well, I could definitely do that, mate, because I'm pretty sure I know where Stella is, so it shouldn't be too difficult for me to locate her. All right, let's have another chat with the Baroness now. We did speak to her in the previous video, but we didn't select the right dialogue option, so she never uh, offered to give me an item or anything. So, tell me about the war. Simple thing, really, but it requires complicated strategy. One or both of my brothers defeated our bodyguard and killed our father. I don't let that stand, soldier. So I fight. And when I win, they will pay for their transgressions. Your bodyguard, Nishka. She's alive. Not surprised. Nishka's damn tough. And if anyone could survive out there, it's her. She taught me how to win a fight, taught me how to never surrender, taught me the importance of duty. Come with me and visit her. No, that would be a dereliction of duty. She wouldn't be happy to see me there, and neither would I. I respect us both too much for that. <laughs> how is she, other than alive? She's not well. If you could visit... She needs help to remember who killed your father. If you could visit... Impossible! I am too busy waging and winning this war. Oh man, the scene is ir irritating, ain't it? Very irritating. Could you give me something that would remind her of you? <laughs> a child coming here and asking for a gift. The sheer gall. But I admire the courage. Tell you what, even. I happen to own the mighty mechanical arm that once belonged to Nishka. If you can take it, it's yours. I mean, if it belonged to Nishka, then shouldn't you just be giving it to me anyway so I can give it back to Nishka? You're a bit of a bitch, Baroness. <laughs> oh, really? Thanks. Her arm will remind Nishka of you? If not... It ought to remind her of a failure to protect my father. This arm. It's only the most heavily guarded item in my entire freedom. I like your spunk, even. So let me warn you. You will fail. You may even die. So do the smart thing and go back to whatever teapot shack 
you came from. It's like she didn't even observe the fact that at the end of the previous video, I had to battle several Queen's robots to get up here. It's like she completely ignored that fact that I succeeded in that battle. <laughs> Alright, bye for now. Even knew what she needed to do to get something that would jog Nishka's memory. Win the most protected treasure in the most militarized kingdom lovely she knew it would be hard but she also knew that the chance of ending this war if indeed she could end it would be worth it right we're not gonna bother rolling the dice just yet that will once again allow the big battle bots to move and then provide us with new routes we can travel to and there's a couple of routes we need to visit for a few side missions so we'll do that once we've won this battle right so pretty much this is going to be the same as the normal chessboard battles but the difference is this time it moves in a triangle there's going to be a cannon in the middle of the battlefield and um you need to destroy it with your own cannon now every time you roll your um chess piece will either land on i think i can't it lands on it lands on one different uh spot that gives you another kind of benefit but you need it to land on each of the corners so preferably you want to keep rolling twos and when it lands on the corners of this triangle you're going to uh, summon a cannon that you need to trigger yourself and then do damage to the cannon in the center and whilst you're doing it obviously the queen's minions are going to keep spawning but that's all you need to do pretty much i'm just telling you now because the game's going to try and tell me so i'll skip it all i think i've got a few check oh we only rolled a one typical by destroying the tower. To destroy the tower, you must lead your plague piece onto the appropriate tile in order to fire your cannon. Yeah, I think the ones in the centre might give you a wall, if I remember correctly, that can like protect you from cannon fire. But it's not hard to avoid cannon fire, just make sure you keep moving and you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, also, if you can get these things broken here, I think these might give you Dice energy, possibly. Or I might be telling Porkies, but I think this gives you dice energy. Yeah, it does. Quite a lot, actually. Right. Oh, great. We rolled a three. Definitely not what we wanted. <laughs> not what we wanted at all. Yeah, so you want it to be, yeah, it's going to build a wall now, which isn't really that useful, to be honest. So now we want to roll either another three or a one. I think we can't roll a four yet, can we? No. So we want to roll a three again or a one. We don't want a two, otherwise it will land on another wall. But just keep rolling as much as you can. Oh, there we go, we rolled a... No, we... I didn't want a two. <laughs> Stupid git. God damn it. If we had one of those little chess pieces, that would be good. That allows it to move one more spot. Why aren't you dodging when I tell you to even? There we go. Where the hell's Dicey? Yeah, what are you doing, Dicey? There we go. That would be good if we... Uh... What do we roll? We rolled a one. Right, so we're not going to use this just yet. We'll save this if we do the wrong kind of roll. And then we'll grab ourselves a shield. And we'll summon one of these little healing bells. And it'll float around and heal us a little bit. There you go. Shoot the button to fire the cannon. So if I do the wrong kind of roll, then I can use the chest piece. So once again, we only want to roll uh, a two now. That's it. If we roll anything other than a two, we want to use our chest piece as well to make sure it lands on one of the corners. Okay, I'm fully healed now. Here, Man, Dice has been a bit of a slacker in this video, isn't he? Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, just took out our own friends. What do we roll? A two. Lovely, that's what we wanted. And then we're going to grab ourselves a sword just to keep ourselves safe. 
Oh, actually. Oh, shit. I forgot to shoot the cannon first. Oh, man. I'm not sure if I'm able to still do this. Did it shoot? Shoot the button to fire the cannon. Oh, yeah, we go. It's still shot. Okay, good. I started panicking then. I thought I messed up. Maybe I did. <laughs> But the uh, enemies that appear do progressively get a bit more difficult. So I think soon you have those big giant guys running around and stuff. Right. Yeah, so we rolled a one, so now we're going to use this. Sweet. Do we need to heal ourselves or anything? No, we don't. Shoot the button to fire the cannon. Oh, it's those guys with the bloody lances. I'm trying to ignore all the enemies and just focus on destroying this cannon. Watch out! The Baroness now has two cannons! The Baroness now has two cannons? Does she? Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, the cannons are hitting her troops as well, so it's not really that bad for me. I'm dodging it perfectly fine. Oh, great, we rolled a three. Oh, sweet, there we go. <laughs> you don't want the odd numbers. And then we'll grab this as well. Oh, shit! I know what to do, Game Master. You don't need to tell me a hundred times, mate. Oh, there we go. There's the big guy. Oops. Oh, oh, it allowed me to roll already. Oh, we only rolled a one. The walls, right? Oh, come on, dice. You grab this dice energy. Oh, where'd it go? Ouch! Oh, there we go. I rolled a one again. That's all right. Shoot the button. Well, it's over halfway being defeated now, so it's all good. And we're still doing perfectly. Ah, oh, did you see that? That's the problem with these bloody dice, uh, these healing bells. They always go over the edge and vanish. If you're in like a room with walls and stuff, then they'll bounce around for 30 seconds and they're, they're great. They're really good at healing you. Especially if you've got a couple bouncing around. But yeah, when it's uh, when it's a place like this, it's not the best. Halfway through the board game. Oh crap, I should have uh, I should have rolled the dice. So I could have refreshed my sword. Oh, I well, don't mind. What do we roll? A two. Perfect. Um... Grab one of these. Once again, we'll try and grab a bell, but it's probably going to just fall over the edge. Shoot the button to fire the cannon. <laughs> Shoot the button to fire the cannon. La di da. That poor giant over there has been following me in circles for a while now. Take cover! The Baron has now has three cannons! Three cannons? Give me a two. Sweet! Alright, we was off to a bit of a rocky start, but the dice is now on my team. Lovely. <laughs> Man, thank God we've got this Game Master telling me what to do, because I'd have no idea what to do if he hadn't told me like 28 times. Oh, we ran out. Oh, God. God, we got like three shields, two shields now. 
It's also good when that um, giant shoots his little um, his little balls at you, his fireballs, because it does damage to the enemies. Basically, they just kill themselves. You can run in circles, and eventually they would kill each other. Once again, we rolled a two. Sweet. I reckon two more shots and we should be done. But the enemies, you might as well ignore them. They're only there, really, so you can get more dice energy. And even then, you don't even need to worry about them. You can just get the cannon to blow up those blue crystals for you. Oh, that one got me. Right, come on, give me a two. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. All right, where's it going to go to? It's going to, it's going to come here in it. Yeah, it's going to smack right into that giant. I think. No, it just missed him. I was hoping it'd knock him over the edge. Lovely. Oh, we got a card as a reward. Very nice. Well, that went pretty well. It took about 10 minutes to do as well. I was expecting it to take longer. Very nice. Now we can go and get the murder weapon, hopefully, in this video. Nishka's Mechanical Arm. The legendary mechanical arm of Nishka, the bodyguard of three. Lovely. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look, Nishka's machine arm. No. Impossible. You can't have it. Give it here. Seems to me like I won. Won it fair and square in battle. Spoils of war. Huh. Turn about is fair play, I suppose. You have a future in my militia, even. Very well. Keep the arm. And if you see Nishka, tell her. Never mind. Just treat her well. She's earned that, at least. Bye for now. Armed with Nishka's well, arm, even had all she needed to remind the old bodyguard of the Baroness. She just hoped it would be enough to change the course of this war. Okay, right. So what do we need to do now then? So we need to tell a woman that her husband is going to find her. We need to find the lost children. Uh, which is that little girl that spoke to us, that very mysterious girl. We need to talk to the guy who wants to train us in like meditation or calmness or something. The opposite of the war guy in the previous video. We've still got to do that. These are like side missions. Uh, we need to speak to that strategy guy that's near where uh, Nishka is in the town. We need to tell him about each of the triplets, which we've now spoke to all three, so we can do that. And then we need to go speak to Nishka once we've got the murder weapon. So we could probably get all of that done in this video, to be honest. We've got about... Got about 15 minutes. I reckon I could get most of that done. A lot of the side missions are very uh, quick anyway, so we can probably get that done in this video, hopefully. Colossuses moved once again, this time in favor of the Count. Now, if you saw when that final guard moved then, he was actually blocking the murder weapon. So if you want to get the murder weapon, you have to collect the three items from the triplets first. I didn't know that. I didn't notice that he was blocking that bit because I come across the murder weapon by accident. So, um... I don't know where the, I can't remember exactly where the murder weapon is. I'm sure it appears on the map, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that little bit right there, that, like, scary-looking helmet. Huh. <laughs> that scary helmet wasn't on the mini-map, was it? Yeah, so basically, once we get to the end of this pathway, 
we need to take a very sharp right. Looks like there's two things we need to do there, actually. Okay. Right, so we'll grab the murder weapon first, because that's part of the main story, and then once that's done, we'll quickly try and sort out all of the... Um... Oh, what are we going to do a battle for? Oh, come on! <laughs> but once we've done that, then we'll sort out the rest of the side missions. We might have to do some of the side missions in the next video, probably. Look at Manny Dex just talking about his cars whilst I'm getting attacked. These bombs basically work for me, to be honest. They do more damage to the enemies than me. Man, will you shut up, Manny? <laughs> I you chuck a really cool card over here for me. Alright. Okay, so we're going to grab two of the swords. So we do extra damage and extra durability. And then we're going to stick a shield on us. These uh, healing pots are very, very, very good. They heal a lot more than I expected. They nearly give you a full bar of health even if you're nearly dead. They're great. I always forget that they do that spin attack. <laughs> Fucking Manny, shut up! Core actually uh, taking a lot, a lot of damage at the moment. Ah, oh, sweet. We'll pin that for next time. Sorry that you can't see the health bar. It's behind my head. <laughs> but uh, if I'm nearly dead, you'll know because the screen will flash like a red sort of colour. So you'll, you will know if I'm nearly dead. I don't know why I always do this. I always just like dodge through them to get the crystals. Well, I could just shoot it with my little slingshot, but... I always forget to do it. That only gives me one, doesn't it? Oh, for God's sake. Well, I suppose we can get this. The bow of one croft. Oh, that was terrible. See what I mean, how it bounces around everywhere. These flipping healing bells are great, but only in areas like this. If you're not in an area like this, then they're, they're a waste of time, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get the side missions done in this video because I didn't know we had to do another one of these battles. I think there might even be another one when we get to the murder weapon. Bloody little fat things. Let's see if we can get another Warhammer. Oh no, I've only got war one Warhammer in my inventory, I think. Yeah. We'll take another bow, that'll be useful. And this one's for destroying crystals, ain't it? Yeah, okay. Right, is he dead? Yes. Probably the best weapon for taking down these flying guys. Well, other than the bow, of course. We done? Yes. <laughs> Manny Dex here. I've got cards up every O I have. Filthy devil. Right. Uh, right. Which way is it? Huh. Which way do we go then? So we did the battle here. This is where we came from, ain't it? 
Yeah, the Baroness's domain. Alright, so we need to go... Yeah, we need to go this way to get the murder weapon, I think. Should be over here. Oi, oi. Looking to get an invincibility. I'll talk to you next time. I need to actually I need to buy some stuff from you. I might have enough money now. Ah, here we go. And I think there might be a side mission down there. Oh yeah, I can see it. Might be one of those missing kids, one of the uh twins. Alright, let's get this murder weapon. What do you want? The question is not what I want. Anything I desire, I make manifest. The world itself bends to me. To my machine, the rules of the dice. I am the queen, girl. And you are a very long way from home. Aren't you, mother? Give me my sister back. Uh, do I have your sister? <laughs> I have so many children here. So, so many. Coming here, disturbing this place. It hasn't happened in a very long time. I think I need to keep my eye on you. Where did you say your name was? I didn't. And I don't think you will. You get a break from disobedience. She's not wrong. Look at your superior in the eye and refusing her. But superiors don't stay patient for long. Lock the girl in. Destroy yourself and her. My name is my I'm even, you witch. Even? I know that name as if from a dream, somehow. You are a lonely girl, adrift in a world you don't belong in. Nothing awaits you in your future but pain and heartbreak. God, sounds like my future. <laughs> sounds like my fucking future. I'll never give up. Nothing can stop me from saving her. Just words. Words I've heard before from countless people. They all fell like you in. Well, me and Dicey are gonna. A task. You have a task. No, Mr. Goldblum. Which is. Tell me, where did you find your little friend? Have you seen the valley? Have you found the valley of the dice? Tell me where it is. Murder weapon, the weapon that ended the life of the former King of Threedom. This would surely trigger a memory for Nishka. Man, yeah, because the Queen wants to find the Valley of the Dice because she obviously destroyed all of the dice in the No Dice War because she wanted to be the only person that could, older, that could own a dice and be all powerful so she can find the Valley of the Dice. Then she'll probably just destroy the place. That's why she wants to know where it is. But I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf X. So next time, uh, I'll quickly run around the battlegrounds and hand in all the different side missions that we've currently got active. And then we will go back and speak to Nishka. And hopefully we can finally end this civil war or at least find out what's going to happen next. 
So yeah, thanks for watching Waffle Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Very combat heavy today. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today.